Hi everyone, welcome to God for It Life channel. I am so happy to see you here today. I know that many of you are surprised to see the video about pregnancy on my channel, but the thing is that, um, you know, I'm sharing my health journey with you and this is part of it. It's like my pregnancy journey and I do hope and I'll be extremely glad if this information um, is helpful for at least, uh, you know, some of you. Then today we're talking about um, supplements that are really good for pregnant women. I am not, as you know, a fan of heavy supplementation um, whatsoever, but during pregnancy certain things are really needed to be incorporated into your diet. And to begin with, of course, even though you take the supplements, the supplements are just sort of a backup for your health, right? but you do need to start with a balanced diet. So for example, you were leading this way of life where you didn't really um, try to be as healthy as you could. The pregnancy is the perfect time for you to start and it's never late to, to begin you know, a healthy lifestyle even during the pregnancy, even the end of the pregnancy. What you need to consider is that you need to start with First of all, eliminating everything that's not supposed to be in your diet, like junk food and stuff, processed food, you don't need that. And then stick to that plan until the very end and then of course keep going afterwards. What people don't and women don't understand mostly is that a good healthy diet is not only good for you as a pregnant woman, it's great for healthy labor. And it's also great for the health of the baby. So all these things should be like a strong motivator for you to be on track of, keep on track of the, of the things, you know, considering, you know, your diet. But you don't need to go crazy again and just write down every, you know, calorie, how much protein and stuff. Just be natural and don't eat bad things. Talking about supplementation, um, it costs money, right? So if you are in a low budget, always try to um, spend more money on food, you know, on good quality food first and then, you know, see what you can buy, um, what you can afford. But the, the things I'm going to show you here is just basically three um, the main things, three main things that I think a pregnant woman should have and then the rest is just according to whatever you see that you might need it or not. So as we understand, supplementation is a backup plan only, so concentrate on your diet as much as you can. They also say that supplements are so important, especially during the first trimester when most women are acidic and they can't tolerate most of the foods. Well, it, it was a problem for me because when I was um, in my first tri trimester, uh, the biggest problem was that I couldn't drink water and the only thing I could possibly drink was just maybe like a cup of warm tea at night. So I, I definitely maybe for the first two months I didn't even take any supplementation, that's why it's very important to make sure that you are, you know, healthy enough and maybe you take some supplementation, especially folic acid, before even conceiving, if you, you know, if you're planning. So now let's finally move to the supplements. The one that is a perennial multivitamin that I really think is good is by New Chapter and um, I will put everything I'm listing in the uh, list down below in the description. Bars. This is, I like this vitamin because it's whole food, it's culture in my vitamin with like, you know, like pregnancy and all stuff like this. It could be taken on the empty stomach, which is a great advantage. And um, the only downside maybe is that um, you have to take three um, during a day and the vitamin itself is pretty big. So three of them, but I have no problem uh, swallowing, you know, vitamins, even whatever size they are, but some people I know do, so my, I, you know, my might not be a problem, so I'm just letting you know that the size is really big. Well, all the prenatal, the only thing you have to know is that, let's say, for example, it's not providing you with 100% of the recommended daily um, amount of calcium and magnesium. Which is actually a good thing because, um, you know, magnesium you could be taken separately, no big deal, and calcium as well. And you are supposed to, you know, get most of that from your diet. The next thing that I encourage you to take is a good probiotic. It is very, very important because, you know, um, during the pregnancy, your digestive system will do tricks and it will probably work differently. So, um, the probiotic that I love is the Bicult. It's advanced multi-strain formula. It looks like that and it has 120 capsules and the, you know, you have to take just one a day or two a day. I actually take one in the I think it's pretty much enough. So imagine, this could be good like for so, so many months. 
So, um, it's just a small capsule, you know, like this, like regular probiotic. I love this product. It's a bit pricey, it's more expensive than maybe any, any other probiotic. But if you decided to, that you need to take a probiotic, invest in a good one. Otherwise, it's just, you know, waste of money. The next thing I highly recommend um, every pregnant woman out there, unless you're a vegan, because this is um, a cod liver oil. But that's just a regular cod liver oil. I found one of the best out there is the one by Green Pasture. It's um, actually I got, there are two types. It could be either fermented cod liver oil blend or it could be butter oil slash fermented cod liver oil blend. So that I got that. It's, um, it's just the capsules and um, the reason I think it's very, very good is that it provides you with vitamin D and vitamin A as well. Well, what's good about vitamin D is that almost every person is deficient and um, although you do need to spend a lot of time outside, not a lot of time, but just throughout the day to be able to um, start producing vitamin D, that's the best way to do. But Still, you know, imagine you might be working most of the days and when I was in my first trimester, forget it, you know, it, I, it was during the summer months in New York City, it's crazy, it's humid, so there is no way um, I'm feeling that bad as it was, could just go outside for vitamin D, no. The only thing I could do is just go outside in the evening when it's nice and chilly, you know, like more tolerable for me, so obviously I was, you know, vitamin D deficient. Um, I know this according to the blood test, so definitely you need some supplementation because vitamin D is very important for your baby's development. So you need to take two capsules a day and it's good for good two months. What I do, like, like you know, when I know that I definitely spend enough uh, time outside and I do produce uh, my, you know, naturally vitamin D, plus you could also um, at foods that are rich in vitamin D. There are not so many of those and uh, I know that maybe sometimes I need to take just one capsule or sometimes I take two. Um, the only thing is that some people might have a little reflex when taking cod liver oils or just maybe like any even different omegas. So my advice here will be don't take it on the empty stomach and maybe don't take two capsules straight. Try to divide this into two portions and take it um, either right before meal or after meal. So basically these three is most likely all you need. But then in my second trimester I figure out that I definitely need to add a bit calcium and magnesium. Well, I had no problem with adding magnesium because you know this is something that I'm already taking on a daily basis. You can watch my video about you know why it is good and it is totally safe for the mother and it's very very good because you need to make sure that you get enough of potassium and magnesium. And I also added um, the calcium. I prefer taking um, I prefer taking coral calcium. Sometimes when you get calcium, it comes already with the magnesium and vitamin D in it. But don't really rely on that that heavily because the most important thing you need to take is calcium. So that's a coral calcium by Nature's Bounty. I don't take it every day. Um, I mostly take it on the days when I know that I don't need enough of foods um, rich in calcium. The reason is that calcium contracts um, with the iron absorption. So, and being deficient in iron is a no good thing for pregnant women, although almost every second woman is deficient. So not talking about iron, according to my blood work, I'm a little bit um, anemic, um, just a little bit lower than the recommended amounts. So what I normally do um, is I don't take those iron supplements that come um, in a pill form, because most of them are, you know, they are not properly absorbed by your body, and you might have some, um, you know, it, your stomach might not tolerate that well and you might get constipated. So that's definitely no no for a pregnant woman, right? So what I normally do is I take an iron supplement. I just ordered it and I don't have um, it here to show, but it called, uh, it's called Floridex. I'll put it in uh, the link for it. What you need to know about Floridex is that it is a natural form of iron and it's so easy on your stomach and it doesn't make you feel constipated, like be constipated. and. It's also um, good to, to consider that don't get the humongous bottle right away because it has a really short shelf life, like I think about one month. So if you just, you will have to take it twice a day if you really don't want to, um, you know, end up with a spoiled product. But another recommendation that I can give you, and I really like it so, so much, is the product uh, called uh, Molasses. My bottle is a little bit, you know, messed up because it's like leaking all over, <laughs> so I, I have it in a plastic bag. So that's the molasses, make sure you get the organic molasses, 
um, that it's not whatever, like it's, that it's unsulfured, that's very important. And uh, um, it's a good source of potassium, calcium, and iron. And the, and the way I like to eat it, um, you know, I know people bake with it, but I think it doesn't make sense here. And they put it on the yacht meal maybe. I don't really eat that fan of the taste, so the, the way I taste, the way I take it, and I think it's the best way, and it tastes really good, is you boil the water, put it in a cup, so you have a cup of boiled water, and you put one tablespoon of uh, molasses, I believe one tablespoon of molasses has 500 milligrams of potassium, it's pretty good, and uh, you sort of mix it well, and then you add a juice of half a lemon in it. That makes the taste so good and I just drink it as tea and another thing why it's good is that in order for your body to absorb iron it needs to be taken along with the vitamin C so if you're you know taking um, if you're taking an iron supplement take it um, and follow with an orange or whatever else can have vitamin C or just the orange juice or the apple juice which you know I think the fruit may be better because it doesn't have so much sugar but if you watch your sugar intake that's normal and here you actually have two in one you already have the um, lessons rich in iron plus you have the vitamin C in the lemon and it tastes good now this video takes forever already, but I just want to share with you three small things that you could also add to your diet. If you want to make sure that your diet is rich in vitamin C, you can get some rose hips. And um, it's a rose hip fruit. Get it in bulk because it's cheaper. I believe you could get just a tea, but I don't believe in that. I think it's better to get the fruit. And then you just brew it in the thermos, let's say overnight, and in the morning you drink it. You can add pieces of apple, whatever you want. It's so rich in vitamin C, it's so good. And two other things that you probably need to consider adding is flax seed and the chia seeds. So I get both from Spectrum, chia seeds, whatever, sprinkle it and everything you want, and flax seed. Um, I get it ground, and this is like some fancy with super fruits, but it's not really necessarily so. You could just get a regular um, flax seed and then, you know, mill it on your own. But again, don't try to rely on your peels solely and try to go more natural in every single thing that you can. Of course, if you develop any symptoms that you think might be a reason for you to be deficient in this or that thing, definitely tell your doctor because he could run a blood test for you and, uh, you know, you'll find out if you have any uh, excessive skin dryness, if you study having, like, you know, increased fatigue, you're always tired, right? If you lose the concentration concentration, if you have very stiff muscles, if you, well, which is actually normal throughout the pregnancy, if you know you have problems with your vision and many, many other things, right? Definitely consult with your doctor and always make sure that you drink enough of water. That's a very important thing. I would like to give a piece of advice for every woman pregnant out there, first time and second time, doesn't matter. Um, pregnant women, they like to get confused with things, you know, because the information, um, and knowledge out there is just overwhelming. It's so many things and you can't concentrate and find something that you really think you need to, you know, incorporate into your life or diet and you know, it's just blowing your mind. That's what happened with me. So I think that the most important thing is not to get confused because the information even um, is mostly conflicting, you know, <laughs> it makes things worse. So what you need to do is just concentrate on a couple of things here and there and um, do the most important thing of all. Listen to your body and understand um, it, what it's trying to tell you as it constantly does um, its job perfectly well and uh, you need to understand what it's trying to tell you, you know, the symptoms and so, so many other things. So this way you'll always be on top of the things without overwhelming yourself, getting stressed, depressed and all this things that you don't really need. And I would like to give you just a, a simple for instance here because when I came to the doctor for one of my visits and uh, she started yelling at me saying that I gained too much weight um, in a month and uh, I don't know, there was some mistake or something because I normally take pictures of my weight and I know that I gained 10 pounds, not um, in four weeks but in seven, you know, which was totally fine. And when I came to see her and I didn't really feel that I gained weight fast enough or not, I just felt, you know, great. And uh, she started yelling at me on so many things. I was depressed for like two, three days. I was out, you know, completely. And she brought me down, and I think it was really bad. The thing is, she didn't consider me being uh, underweight according to my BMI index before pregnancy, so that was perfectly normal for me to gain this weight, because I, I actually supposed to gain weight, right? 
And uh, many women I spoke to, they have the same problem, you know, when uh, they are just being depressed because doctors do tell them these things. And right away she sends you to check your sugar and gestational diabetes and so many other things. And, you know, the advice she gives me, don't eat um, salty food, like, you know, don't get um, too crazy on chips, whereas I don't eat chips, whatever, like, at all. But let's just leave it alone. The thing is that, of course, I knew that my sugar was okay, now it's not um, a potential candidate for gestational uh, diabetes and so many other things. So the doctors, sometimes they don't consider and they don't see the big picture, but you surely do, because you are the only person who knows better. So that's number one, I think it's very, very important. And I understand that doctors that do their job and they want to be on top of the things too, but you, as the person who are who is responsible for your own health, you have to always find common sense in everything, even in medical um, you know, procedures. I hope you guys like this video, and uh, please ask me any questions, and I probably missed something, and I will maybe add in the, you know, further videos. I will just, um, I just want to, wish you guys to stay as positive as you can and uh, I don't want you to drive yourself crazy and just set up your priorities and try to follow um, up as many things as you can but don't be hard on yourself if you did two, one or two things uh, in a day that's totally fine and if you are so upset about something think about it maybe it's not gonna matter within like a week so um, you are a mother and you need to understand that you will be so proud of yourself and you know for you to just uh, complete this journey and don't think that it is um, it was invented for us to suffer it's not and it, it hasn't been done this way because it's a natural thing and you need to learn how to get as much happiness and enjoyment from it as you can so that's what I wish you guys to have um, to think about always think positive things that's very important. It sets your mind in the right direction and it truly works. So thank you so much for watching this video. Put a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you later.